it has been a mad rush already this morning but i have basically just got ready and i'm about to leave to go to see bed knobs and broomsticks a couple of people have seen it already it's like it's basically a very disney classic so i am excited to see it um yeah as i am with every theater <laughs> show that i go to see but yeah it would be really good it's yeah one of the classics i feel like it would be so nice to actually finally see it um because everyone keeps telling me to so yeah it'll be nice so i am finally on the train basically um the sweetest thing happened earlier I got stopped on when i was waiting for the train um and basically i was in such a rush and i kind of did not like my outfit at all really sweet because this girl was saying that she really liked my style she was asking where um obviously like my band where she was from and it was so cute but yeah that basically made me stop stressing as well i am now on route i'll be there in about 20 minutes um, and then we've still got a half an hour until it starts <laughs> was so good so so good um i don't know if you guys heard me earlier but it was really nice at the train station um a girl was asking me for basically where i got stuff which was really cute uh, and i didn't actually really i don't think i said but i really hated my outfit before coming out so that was really nice really nice uh, i basically have just had my drink I'm gonna put my mask and everything back on in a moment and listen to music on the way home because I've just had to run for this train. So ignore, ignore the appearance. Just, um, I have got back from work and yeah, this is this is the extent what it gets to. Um, but yeah, I thought I would obviously do a little chat about bed knobs and broomsticks. What I thought about it basic i basically really liked it i think it had a lot of kind of animatronics tricks that kind of thing to make it look really magical um i really really love that and this i feel like the story was quite plain but at the same time it was really it is good because it's kind of that childhood story if you've what if you've watched that when you were younger um which is why me and some of my friends have seen it um because it's yeah it's basically a childhood thing going back to that childhood memory um and obviously who doesn't like disney both of my friends really liked it as well and um, they thought it was really good i honestly feel like some of the things were a bit the the choices were quite different um they had an adult play the oldest child which was quite interesting um but i really like the singing they were really talented i feel like it's definitely something worth watching if you have the tour obviously come near you um i don't know if it, how many more stops they're doing um but if you get the chance definitely go and watch it i i wouldn't say it's my top tier of kind of musical theatre but I really do like it I really did like it I think that it's something I would definitely go to see again 
and if you've got children definitely go um take them because it's it is really magical for children even though most of the audience were actually um older and i'm assuming that's just because of that kind of everyone watched that when they were younger so yeah i see why that is the case um but apart from that there's not a lot i have to say about it i yeah that's kind of my opinions on everything i would say yeah go and watch it hopefully there's a tour near you hopefully maybe it will come back i don't know um beauty and the beast is coming back so yeah we have hope for shows <laughs> but i have a couple of other shows as well that i am going to be posting about um i probably have a bit more to say about those because this one was kind of a just went on a whim um but i have recently gone to see serrano which was really good and um cinderella as well so and obviously those have two big musical theater and performance actors in obviously james mcavoy in serrano and kerry hope fletcher in cinderella so i yeah it's really really good so keep tuned for that guys there'll be another musical theater vlog coming up in the next couple of weeks